we're going to imagine we have runners at first and second and this is always a big stealing opportunity and when you see hands and a fake bunt from your um, hitter your runners will take off one of the things that i look for when i'm calling a steal is what the middle infielder especially the shortstops doing What's important is that Javen is still going to work to hold that runner, make her feel uncomfortable that we can still throw down to two. But right now we're going to have a race between Destiny, and our runner at second, and Jessica Vest, our shortstop. So this is just a natural see the hands. My third baseman comes forward. What Jessica Vest is trying to do is run and cut this runner off, so to speak. There's not gonna be any contact, but we're gonna get her to run to the front of the bag and get herself in a position right here. If she's letting the runner run in front of her, we've lost our play. So she's gonna take the initiative to get to the front of the bag. All right, give me a pitch. You can show a bunt late. Attack the bunt. Lauren, attack the bunt. Runner. Let's do it again. Come on, hit this target now, let's go. Showing a bunt, late. Runner's going. Good. Good. All right, now Javen sees that it's a fake bunt. She should be probably heading towards first. If we have runners at first and second, she will be going that way. Uh, one way or the other, she should be going to first on a bunt. But if she's seen that it's a fake and she's sure that she's got it, then we can get that runner in a rundown. Now you see the hands, I want you to go like you believe it will be a bunt. Do it again, Vest. Here you go. Ready, runner. Okay, now that's the beauty of being able to jump is that you don't have to go if you know you can't beat them.